drivetrain replacement. For each line, the steps you take are the same, but the methods used can be very different. Please look out for the relevant links throughout the video for further details. To demonstrate, we are using the C-Line bike in this video. To perform this job, you will need an 8mm hex key, a 15mm spanner, a crank extractor, a 20 tooth bottom bracket tool, chain link pliers, a flat headed screwdriver, a torque wrench, degreaser, a rag and anti-seize grease. Release the rear frame. Release the chain by disengaging the chain tensioner. Unhook the chain from the chain tensioner. Then reattach the rear frame to the main frame. Chain removal. Take the chain off the drivetrain. To do so, find the quick link by backpedaling anti-clockwise. Once found, open the chain by using a pair of chain link pliers. The old chain can now be slid off the front chain ring and the rear cassette and disposed of. Crank set removal. Please note, crank removal for T-line is different. See the link in the description. Unscrew the crank bolts on either side anti-clockwise using the 8mm hex key. Be careful to fully unwind the 15mm section of the crank extractor turning anti-clockwise before fitting the 22mm part into the crank. If you do not, you risk damaging the thread of the crank. Screw the crank extractor tool by hand onto the thread of the crank arms by rotating clockwise until it doesn't go any further. Then, with a 15mm spanner, turn the end of the crank extractor tool clockwise and continue to rotate clockwise until the cranks slide off with ease. Repeat for the left hand crank arm. Bottom bracket removal. Please note bottom bracket removal for T-line and electric lines is different. See the link in the description. Insert the bottom bracket tool into the bottom bracket cups. Screw clockwise on the drive side and anti-clockwise on the non-drive side to fully remove the cups and extract the bottom bracket fully. Clean the bottom bracket housing threads by using some degreaser and a rag. Sprocket removal. Please note sprocket removal for T and P line is different. See the link in the description. Remove the rear wheel before attempting this job. For more detailed information on how to do so, please click the link in the description below. Place the wheel on a flat surface. Then, using a flat-headed screwdriver, pop the circlip off the hub body. You can now access the outer sprocket, spacer, inner sprocket, combined cap, and slide them off the hub body. Bottom bracket installation. Please note, bottom bracket installation for T-line and electric lines is different. See the link in the description. Grease the bottom bracket housing threads by using anti-seize grease. Screw the bottom bracket into its housing by turning it anti-clockwise for drive side and clockwise for non-drive side. Pay attention to line up the threads on the bottom bracket with the ones on the frame. Secure the bottom brackets by tightening the cups to 25 newton meters using a torque wrench with the bottom bracket tool attachment. Crank set installation. Please note crank set installation for the T-line is different. See the link in the description. Apply anti-seize grease to the bottom bracket spindle. Slide the crank arm and the non-drive side arm onto the spindle, making sure the arms are in the correct orientation. Secure them by screwing the pre-greased crank bolts fully. Torque to 30 newton meters. Sprocket installation. Please note sprocket installation for T and P line is different. See the link in the description. With the wheel on a flat surface, start sliding the combined cap in a sprocket, spacer, and outer sprocket onto the hub body, making sure to follow this exact order. Secure the stack by sliding the circlip onto the hub body, then by using a flat headed screwdriver, clip it into its designed slot. 
chain installation. Please note chain installation for T and P line is different. See the link in the description. We recommend using a Brompton chain as the Brompton chain can be ordered in the correct length. To determine what length you need, see the link in the description. Place the new chain on the chain ring, then guide it through the rear mechanism. Meet the open ends of the chain and secure by attaching the quick link. Use the chain link pliers to correctly activate the quick link. Release the rear frame, engage the chain tensioner, and reattach the rear frame to the mainframe.